Hello friends. In my previous video, I have already discussed about signal addition in MATLAB and this is my previous video. The link I will provide in the description of my this video. You can check this because that is important to understand this two signal multiplication in MATLAB. Okay. So what you have to do? See, again, same kind of problem may appear in the multiplication also. Suppose I am giving you two uh, signals and I ask you what is the multiplication result. Then you simply cannot do x1 dot star x2. Why? Because uh, one signal may be longer than other signal. So first you have to make those two signals of same length by padding required amount of zeros in the front and back side. Okay. So same kind of operations what we have done in signal addition. And here in the comment section I have provided the code of signal addition. So let me take that itself. Control C after selecting and let me paste it in MATLAB and see just this is the same code the uh, two signal add two discrete signal addition and two discrete signal multiplication code is same just you need to change here instead of addition just you need to give multiplication but z1 is one sequence z2 is one sequence so that to, if you want to multiply element by element multiplication in case of uh, multiplication operator what you have to do dot star right that's only the modification instead of plus you have to give dot star that's all so now let me show you the uh, for one test case suppose time sample range is my for first signal it is from minus 3 to 3 with incrementation of 1 and signal let us take 3 to 1 0 1 2 3 all right and second signal let me take from minus 4 to 4 and uh, sequence let us take signal function only so minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 0 1 1 1 1 that is if uh, the time sample range is less than 0 it all are minus 1 if time sample range equal to 0 the signal is equal to 0 if time sample range is greater than uh, 0 then that will be 1 okay you just click enter and see um, this is my sig uh, first input signal, this is second input signal and this is the multiplication result. Alright, you can clearly understand. So let me write the sequence. Uh, okay, from the picture itself, let us try to understand. See, at n equal to minus 4, the first signal is taking value 0. At n equal to minus 4, the uh, second signal is taking value uh, minus 1. So that uh, basically if you multiply 0 and minus 1, you will get 0. So see, our output is taking 0 at n equal to minus 4. Consider at n equal to minus 3, the first signal has amplitude 3, the second signal has amplitude minus, uh, at n equal to minus 3, the second signal has amplitude minus 1, right? So basically, if you see, if we multiply 3 and minus 1, you will get minus 3 as result at n equal to minus 3. At n equal to minus 2, first signal is 2, second signal is minus 1. So 2 into minus 1, it will be minus 2. At n equal to minus 1, first signal is taking value 1, second is minus 1 so 1 into minus 1 result will be minus 1 at n equal to 0 both signal is taking value 0 0 into 0 that is 0 then at n equal to 1 both signal are taking value 1 so our output is also 1 at n equal to 2 first signal taking value 2 second signal taking value 1 so output is 2 2 into 1 is equal to 2 Similarly, for this last time sample uh, that, any, that is n equal to 3, uh, for both the case, first signal is taking value 3, second signal is taking value 1, 3 into 1, 3. So, output is 3. And for n equal to 4, my four, uh, second signal is taking value 1, but at n equal to 4, my first signal is not defined. So, that, that is basically amplitude is 0, 0 into 1 is 0. So, at n equal to 4, our output is taking value 1. So, multiplication signal, that is multiplication, we have achieved these two signal. If I multiply, we are getting this third signal as our multiplication result. I hope you have understood this just simply modification in the addition code that is instead of plus you have to give dot star okay or dot multiplication why dot because we want to multiply element by element that's all i am going to provide the same code in the comment section of my this video as my previous video i have also posted this is all about this particular multiplication concept and with this we have completed all the basic signal operation that is time reversal time shifting addition multiplication in MATLAB. And now we are ready for uh, some different operations like uh, DFT, FFT, DTFT, uh, filters, etc. And some projects also I will introduce uh, time to time. Okay. So, till then stay tuned. Don't forget to press the subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell icon just beside that. Okay. So that you can get the notification at the earliest. Thank you.